we all take this very, very seriously. After more than a decade behind bars, former New York State Legislator no. Chris Ortloff is slated to be released from Danbury Prison in Connecticut. In 2010, Ortloff was sentenced to 12 and a half years for using the internet as a way to lure minors for sex. If he comes back to the area, you know, um, hopefully he doesn't do anything again. <laughs> That's always a concern, I think. Ortloff lived in Plattsburgh before heading to prison. He served in the state assembly from 1986 until 2006 and played a major role in bringing the 1980 Winter Olympics to Lake Placid. Then in 2008, investigation and arrest shocked the community. It was shocking. It, it definitely was shocking. Ortloff attempted to lure and have sex with what he thought were two 11 and 12 year old girls. The planned motel rendezvous was actually a police sting. Ortloff later pleaded guilty in federal court to the allegations. Um, I don't know what the prison system has for rehab uh, in, that, in those situations, but hopefully they have taken some action. It's not yet known whether the now 72-year-old will be returning to Plattsburgh. I understand to be the, the release conditions are uh, federal probation, which uh, comes with a lot of uh, oversight, um, and he'll be required to register as a sex offender. Not something Chief Levy Ritter takes lightly. If an agency, a state or federal agency, designates someone as a sex offender, um, there is a reason for concern on our part and on the part of the public. In Plattsburgh, Paris Fawn, NBC5 News.